Life's about balance, baby, and the balance is in my account now. Okay, she got a perkin' and perk. I got a twerkin' and turk. She probably let both of us hit. The way that she smirkin' and dirt. She getting cake on the pictures she take. I say, girl, if it worked, then it work. Fuck a wedding dress, I'm tryna to it and sh- Hey, you went flying, baby, spur. Hey, you went dry around the world. Hey, you went brown like sh- Welcome, everyone. Back at it again. Super happy to be back. Episode 27 with Marco Giorgio, long awaited. Super happy you can come. <laughs> and uh, we'll get started with a little background about Marco and then we'll, we'll go from there, guys. Andiamo. <laughs> so tell me, boss, uh, you're obviously in the comedian space. Yeah. I but, just uh, where's your background? How'd you get into it? And, and what was the passion, right? So basically, what happened was, um, you know, I'm a good friend with Giuseppe. Giuseppe yes. the MC. Yes. Here. Past, 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 past guest. Past guest. Yeah. Awesome dude. Yeah. yeah. And I've known Giuseppe for a long time. He says, listen, Mark, I'm doing this contest. Okay. The time now. Yes. I was kind of in a Jewish way. Hmm. I think you have what it takes. Wow. I said, Giuseppe, I don't have enough time for this. <laughs> what I is want this? To do. I don't want to know what yeah. it is. You yeah. Know, the guy, you know, yeah. Know. I don't have time for, for the games. Yeah. It's a little trust me, believe me, because I know you can do it. You have it. Believe me, you have it. I'm like, okay. I said, well, you know me. When I go up to something, I go all the way. And I, you know. Good. Good. I like to make sure I come out on top. Full force. 100%. Yeah. So I ended up joining the contest. Nice. And uh, it was my first time up. Performance yeah. at the contest in Hamilton at wow. the Athletic Theater. Nice. And uh, I was the last to go. I never did stand up. Best for last. Best yeah, for the last. best for last. Please, I was so nervous. I was eating so much cut all the way backstage. I yeah. had white powder all over my freaking shirt. Everybody must have thought I had my face and I played a blow. Oh, you know? So yeah. uh, I was really nervous. But no, for all you people at home, it wasn't blow. It was cut only powder, so don't worry about <laughs> it. Um, but yeah, so I finally go up. Yeah. And I literally lost myself for 23 minutes. Wow. I was supposed to be only 10. Okay. <laughs> but I just kept going. That's okay. I just kept going. Yeah. And um, basically, what ended up happening was I made it to the top four nice. in that contest. Did really well. And then there was you know, three weeks of voting. And then wow. I, I got over 7,000 votes worldwide. Jeez, congrats. Um, yeah, thank you. I wow. appreciate that. Well, for first time on stand up, dude, that's that's, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. And then because of that win, you know, the winner of the contest got to open for Giuseppe along with other great performers at the arena show. At the arena, yeah. And it was like three and a half, four thousand people Uh, roughly. Uh, It it went pretty well. Yeah. I would have wanted it to be a little bit better. You know, there were some things that happened. that day that uh, uh, people that were there they know exactly what's up but mm. it's cool everything's good we're all cool nice um i wanted to do new material okay. to be honest yeah. at that, at that uh, arena show. from the last one yeah because okay. so many people had watched the youtube uh, uh videos of the past you yeah. know of who to vote for like yeah. who's the you know there's top four people you gotta vote for them and you can watch their performance right got it so a lot of people so they saw already knew what was up they yeah. knew they knew what yeah. was coming yeah. so i did the same bit but it was only i took some of the big jokes and i, I only had 10 minutes to perform yeah. which i should have thought we had a little bit longer time but you know giuseppe yeah. <laughs> we had to talk about that too but it's all right okay uh but really the experience was was really good and you know meeting the other performers such as eric johnston yeah. and uh, nunzio razo was a good friend of mine now nice um uh, the talented bruno Minardo. yeah you know young kid playing the the yeah. uh, organetto you know That's like sick. for me wow you know, I can't even I can't even play the games on my phone properly. <laughs> this guy's playing the organ like he's an unknown from uh, 1964. Yeah. You know, yeah. came right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's not bad. So, I did that, and then ever since the show, I've been having bookings. You know, nice. whether I do a comedy show here or there, I actually did the Taste of Little Italy on College Street. Oh, cool. So I got to do a bit there. Giuseppe was hoping he might he matched. Um, sorry, he was uh, he was hoping to get me a spot, but he was okay. hosting the event. Oh so yeah. So he got me yeah, a quick yeah, 10, 15 minutes in between some of the acts. It went nice. pretty well nice i have fun and i've been doing events here and there yeah ever since and i i look to do a lot more for you sure know, there's a lot more planned for sure. coming up so so tell me when you first went up on your first time though yeah how did that feel like you first like at it 
So, so a lot honest, of people, you know, a lot of people get that. nervous. Yeah, right. I've always been used to it. Okay, okay. kind of in a way, I've always been a funny guy doing comedy. Yeah, um, the confidence was there. A hundred percent. I yeah. could talk to anybody. Nice. You know, it didn't yeah, really matter. That too. That's sick. You That's know, good. just you drop me anywhere, yeah. and uh, I'll make something happen. Nice. Uh, what's cool about my comedy is these are real stories. Hmm. It's real. Everything I'm telling yeah, you actually it's not happened. Up. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Like, I really got hit in the head with a ciabatta the first time <laughs> I swore at the dinner table as a kid. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, I had my father come into a night school class one time. Okay, full ciabatta out. Start Damn. chasing me around the class at St. Basil's. Jeez. Whoever was in that class way back when, and it was like 04. You're you still know, scarred. <laughs> scarred. I mean, I, I bolted out the door. It was boom, gone. Damn. Nobody's seeing that. Yeah. Why are you jerk? You know, yeah. old school Italian. Yeah. No filter. Don't hashtag care at no all. Brita, you know? Yeah. So it was uh, it was an experience growing up, right? Damn. So, But uh, in terms of comedy, you know, there's so much more things I want to do with yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I'm a physical comic. Okay. Um. I'm not really known on social media in terms of making videos, this and that. Yeah. I have a few other projects that were they're underway that cool. I hope that they catch. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna take it, you know, take it in stride day by day. You know. Cool, cool. Well, I guess we'll get into that. You kind of mentioned about you, the couple projects you got going on, like T Dot Talks and stuff. T Dot Talks, you know it. That's that's he's off camera. We can't see him now, but <laughs> yeah, my business partner's here with T Dot Talks. We, nice. We just came back from killing it from downtown, so that's check cool. out for that footage. That's cool. You know. And so, what? Where did the process come with that? Okay, so my buddy Marco. Okay. Okay. I met him at the contest. Nice. Uh, for next Italian comic. Yeah. He was one of the contestants that I was going up against. Ah. But as soon as I met this guy, I said, okay, this guy's on my level of clown <laughs> that I think I, if I collaborate, we could do something. Yeah. Here. It could be like an Italian version of Step Brothers or, That's it. you know, maybe, you know. Yeah bring back some old school nostalgic type of stuff you know yeah. i don't want to ruin the surprise because it's coming out soon but cool, cool. Um, you're gonna see let's just say a famous two brothers with the, with an iconic song oh yeah hit TikTok again okay you know so it's gonna we'll be go good 100 percent. it's let's gonna be go fun it. I, we're, we're definitely gonna tag you in this one because if you want those characters to come on this pod they'll come yeah. full in character sick so you don't have to worry about that sick but um uh, T dot talks. Yeah, so, yeah. So I meet Marco, and okay. he's like, "Listen, we're gonna do a few things." So everything yeah. goes good. The after you know the settling down with the show and the arena, all that stuff is like, okay. Listen, let's do T dot talks. So what is this? He goes, yeah. "We're gonna go around. We're gonna interview people and catch them off guard." Okay. At festivals, you know, where they're a little bit, you know, a little yeah. bit buzzed or whatnot, and yeah, say yeah, some yeah. things and see Random how they react. Raw conversation. One hundred percent. Yeah, like, yeah we that's, went to the 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 best. Yeah, that's the best. That's the best. We yeah. went to the Taste of Little Italy. Nice. We also went to the Pride Festival. Oh, okay. no way. You guys haven't seen the videos oh, there? I can uh, already imagine. Oh, uh, it's... A, it's it, you know what? I'll tell you this. They're a good crowd. They like to have fun. Yeah. Okay? And they'll play ball. You know, if you're doing okay. an interview thing, they'll make they'll sure that... They'll play with it. They'll, they'll go. Yeah, they'll go, they'll go with it. That's you know it. what I mean? They're not going nice. to be like, you know... They're not up. We recently up. went to this one. It was called... Uh, I don't know. It was called Komahatsu. What was it called, Tsukamu? What was it called? Uh, uh, Ozfest. Uh, Ozfest. I go there. <laughs> <laughs> they see me. Who's this Italian Who's this guy? sticking oh, flashy, get, out of here. get out of here. Yeah. He doesn't have a beer. Can't have another pint. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, shit like that. I'm like, bro. Yeah. I'm, I stopped interviewing. I gave it to Mark. Mark starts doing the interview. He he manages to pull some, some, good, yeah. some good content from yeah. there, but... I don't know, man. <laughs> Not all cultures embrace us Italians. So for let's sure. Just put it that for way. sure. That's for sure. You know, we're still, still the, right. we're still the Italian to them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But that's all right. Yeah. That's all right. I don't mind. I love everybody. Nice. I love everybody. And so, so what made you guys like go that route of the whole the whole social media side now, making these videos and stuff? What made you say, okay, let's go full force? Well, we see other people doing it. Yeah, and right. Not everyone's giving it our twist. Cool. You know that. Uh, yeah. The you different know, side. The different side. There's nice. many different levels of people that. Yeah. They're portraying it to suit to sorry to certain. Um, how do you say it? Like the audiences. Demographics. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Certain audiences. Yeah. Certain people. Yeah. But no one's doing it to ours, to the Italian cool. European cool. side I like of that. things. Yeah. You know, it's true. And, it's true. Um, what's interesting about us is that we we have different characters. Yeah, come more through. than one. Yeah, like yeah. I'm not one of them. For me, it's always okay. me. Yeah, I will play around, but yeah. uh, 
I got to give hats off to my to my business partner Marco. Uh, he he's uh, he's a, he's a great actor and he jumps in the character and nice. he has one that you're gonna see on one of the videos. Is yeah. it goes by the name of Mauro and I think everyone's gonna have a lot of fun with Mauro. That's he's it. Gonna be, uh, he's like he's like uh, the Italian version of Bruno. You know Sasha Baron Cohen. So if you guys know comedy, a little you, bit. You know Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah, yeah. So Bruno, yeah. Um, Ali G, correct. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, uh, Borat. Oh, Borat. <laughs> He's the guy that does those guys, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So Marco is uh, similar like that. That's so, so we want to play with that with the T-Dot Talks and see what we can pull out of people on yeah. the street. You know, not everybody takes kindly to, For sure. as you can see, For to sure. this uh, pride thing. And yeah. listen, I got to say it now and just everybody has to understand we're all human beings. It doesn't matter what type of yeah. uh, orientation you are. As long as you're not hurting innocent people or children, do whatever you want, you know, and that's it. Other than that, we're all human beings. We should be loving each other, and yeah. uh, we should be, you know, seeing what we can do in a positive um, effect in the world. You know, they're talking about just the Ukraine war, yeah. bro. There's so many other problems going on than just that war. There's the Tigra, in Tigris region, Ethiopia. There's Congo. There's yeah. genocide happening in China. There's some problems. Like, you know, people talk about this, that, or whatever. Yeah. Listen, if you try to improve the world one percent every day, yeah, just yourself. Yeah, and exactly. That goes. To other people way. that you know, yeah. at the end of one year, you improve the world 365%. Yeah. And not too many people think like that. For sure. You know, um, for sure. I've seen a lot of differences in, in my life happen. Yeah. Uh, I've seen a lot of people get affected by um, certain choices they've made. Mm. And uh, I was I was a different type of kid growing up. Yeah. Like, believe me. The there's old, nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong yeah. with that. Yeah, I think it helps. It, it's it makes, good that you can understand that, you know. It makes you a better person. For sure. You know, For everyone sure. thinks they're tough until you meet someone tougher than you. Yeah. And then at that point, you're like, okay, well, who do I want to be at that point? Exactly. Do I want to be someone that people kind of remember and don't really like? Yeah. Or they remember, like, you know what, that guy, he tried to, he, you know, he stuck his neck out for people, you know, regardless of, you know, what yeah. he was getting in return. And I think uh, the more people you try and help, yeah. uh, the more you'll get it back in, in different ways from uh, whoever you believe in, whether yeah. it be Allah, God, uh, Buddha, whatever, whoever, exactly. you know, uh, that's all, that's all hearsay after. So. Well said, well said. Thanks, that's awesome. Brother. So tell me, Marco. You're you're in the comedian industry, right? Yes, you're, sir. You're in the the audience of trying to make people have this laughter and so forth. What made you get into this industry versus something else that like not regular, let like people would say, but like a regular, you know, a business job, a career, nine to five, and so forth? Okay. Well, I've I've had many companies. Okay. So the co first company I I opened, I was 19 years old. It was a nice. construction renovation company. Sick. I still do that stuff on the side. Awesome. I'm not out looking for all kinds of jobs and yeah. that because yeah. I'm kind of trying to just take it easy yeah um, I, can, down a bit. I, I, I can pick and choose what i want to do nice um but the reason i wanted to do this now at this point in, in my life is if i'm ever going to get a chance to do it you have to do it while you still have somewhat of youth hmm. okay i'm only 36 years old hmm. you know if i grind the next 10 years Hopefully, I make it somewhere. What well, my oh, end sure. result would be to, to get sure. into the acting, into the nice. TV and film. Nice. Uh, probably produce some, some of my own movies, write cool. some screenplays. Cool. You know, maybe do a couple different projects with uh, with TV shows or something. Nice. You know, I was on TV uh, as a sports backup. No way. Uh, yeah, I'm not on a big show, just yeah. uh, something on CBC. But I okay. always liked it. I've done a few commercials. Cool. Um, but I think comedy is a good stepping stone to get there. And okay. a lot of these, a lot of these days, people, I don't know if you see it, but mm. uh, for example, one of my favorite comedians, Sebastian Maniscalco. Oh, I love him. Bro. Uh, he's one of the <laughs> best. Amazing. You know? and, he, and now he's doing it night. Exactly. hundred percent. Now he's doing the same thing. All these films. Yes, stuff. he's doing some he's big do, shit. Hitters, he's, he, he's make. He has a movie with Robert De Niro yeah. playing his father. Yeah. So I think exactly. a lot of people are. It's easier for them to get into that realm through. The, the the comedy route which awesome. everyone's a comedian and yeah. there's a lot of different good comedians believe me it all depends on who you can connect to okay and how many people relate to you exactly. for me i'm not an ethnic comic i don't look just for italian audience yeah, i yeah. don't really care who watches yeah. me i want people 
from all over the world, from every culture, every religion to relate to me. Because the way I say it, it doesn't matter if you're Indian or if you're Portuguese or if you're Japanese or if you're Italian. The ciabatte, when it hits the kid, <laughs> it's, it hurts the same. Exactly. You know? So if we can make someone yeah. relate to that, and yeah. I have friends from India, from China, yeah. you know, they they love when, you know, when I do talk about my father and the way I was disciplined. Yeah. And even to this day, I still get disciplined, you so know? They relate. Like, oh, dude, yeah. of course they relate. Yeah. You know, to this day, I still get matzah from my father. <laughs> Seventy-four years old, he comes by, hits me in the back of the head. Boom! Like, oh, yeah. Papa, what the hell was that for? Yeah. It's in case you make a mistake in the future, <laughs> I'll give you a deposit on the beating. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I'm thirty. You can't just go hit me, ha! Huh? Yeah, call the cops. Don't yeah. worry, I kill you. <laughs> so if you're gonna kill me. You're gonna do twenty-five alive, ha! Huh? Twenty-five alive. I'm 74. They're lucky if they get two. <laughs> you know? So yeah. he had... Comedy's always been a part of my life. Yeah. My family's big in like... Not big in comedy. Just they're, they always... They enjoy like, it. They enjoyed yeah. it. You know, I grew they up... They understand. Listening to Andrew yeah. Dice Clay. I don't know if you know who that is. The no. Dice. Okay. You don't know the Dice? No. Oh, but... You gotta do some homework. <laughs> we'll get the dice on here one day. Yeah. Trust me, dude. He's a heavy, heavy comic. He's great. He's, he's one of my favorites. So there's Sebastian, yeah. uh, Andrew Dice Clay. Okay. I really like uh, Cat Williams. I okay, love yeah. Russell Peters. Yeah. Oh, Russell Peters. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, he hits amazing. Home, I think just in our area alone. Yeah. 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 I like uh, Andrew Schultz. He's another big Andrew one. Andrew Schultz. Yeah. 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 He's good. Young dude. Um, for me. There's so many different types of the art mm -hmm. that you can really, if you look at everybody and you take yeah. snippets of what they did special, and then you can kind of make it your own and like kind of figure out what your special thing is. Yeah. Um, I think the world is, it's your oyster. It's yeah. up to you to open the shell and grab the pearl of your life. You, yeah. know, you guys are young guys and you're doing something really awesome and I love the new light. And, appreciate it. Appreciate you know, it, I'm on the wall here. I feel, I feel like I'm a somebody, you know. Yeah. Most people's parents, when they uh, when they tell them, uh, you know, when the, their kid says, hey, I'm going to go be a comedian, the parents are sad, you know. <laughs> my parents are like, finally, he's doing what something with his life, yeah? you know. Yeah, That's my parents good. are happy. That's good. You That's know, good. but little do they, like, you know, I had no support when I had a construction business. Really? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, you fix the house. Yeah. I do yeah. all kinds of renovations, fix people's houses. Yeah. You know, you know, hundreds of thousand dollar jobs. And, yeah. No, now I do com comedy, now they're proud of me. Wow. That's good, though. It's nice. The support's there at the end of the day. 100%. Yeah. 100%, yeah. you know. That's awesome. My mother, you know, she's a tough one. <laughs> they a all are, bro. I think they all are. They all all are. women. All women are amazing. We yeah. love you. Yeah. We, we love do. you. Oh. <laughs> so tell me, Bill, when it comes to, to to meeting other people in the industry, like you say, you're meeting some guys at the, the events that Giuseppe brought you on and stuff, how big did that play for you? Like even just understanding more about... The, the comedy space and like connecting was that something that you found important uh, hunger yeah i really do believe that you need to network in this business you need to connect yeah. with other people like um after winning the event you know you guys contact me say hey, mark you want to yeah. come on? sure of course i want to yeah. come on i'm on you know i'm uh, right now i'm very small in terms of social media mm -hmm. but i know the impact i'm going to leave is going to be a memorable one no for sure you know and um regardless how big or small hundred, that's how we see it too. yeah that's yeah. that and i appreciate yeah. that and i know you guys see it like that yeah but like meeting the other comics these exactly. are seasoned comics exactly. they've been doing it 10 years plus wow and i get to sit beside them and i message them on instagram yeah. and yeah. i go to their shows and they get me tickets and they yeah. do pictures with me and i tell them i'm gonna do a big up which there's some big stuff i'm doing nice we'll probably get you guys involved as uh that's as cool. something we'll, we'll get you to do that's something cool. for sure but i'm gonna be doing a big thing uh, nice. next year okay uh, i'm already in the plans of it for sure you know, yeah, i'm not one of those guys stuff. yeah but yeah. around three months before wow we'll uh, we'll make a big stink about it i'm that's gonna get sick. some big boys involved but that's it's gonna be it's more i'm leading up to me being able to to still put myself on the card with some big boys okay. I'm, I'm not looking to be a headliner yeah but i want to do something for a cause for sure you know have some big names come out raise some money for some charity ah, smart you know and then get some get some some eyes over there at yeah. the event right and then by then you know i've been doing like i said an event almost every weekend wow these last two weekends i took off nice um but you know, come this weekend, the next weekend after that, like I'm I'm back on on the stage and stuff. Um, 
I, I really do think the networking in this business and showing Jeez. the mutual respect for other artists yeah. is what's going to get you ahead because people yeah. are going to appreciate what you do for them and, and like how you show support for them exactly. is they're going to do the same for you yeah, but regardless if you're good or not people yeah. will still support you in it right exactly um, but definitely there is a, there's a point where you have to really sharpen your blade on your own because yeah. there's only certain there's yeah. only so far you can get you gotta believe by knowing yourself. people 100 yeah. yeah. like for me i didn't believe in myself at first yeah and then i saw that you know okay i did something pretty good and yeah. then I, I got through the next round and the next round i made it to the final and i won and it's like wow. okay maybe i should think about doing this professionally yeah and um it, it opens a lot of different doors for sure a lot of different you probably doors. didn't even know it before i didn't yeah you know i was doing comedy before yeah. and uh for nothing and then now it's yeah. like you know maybe there's a chance i might be able to make a nice career out of it wow. if i stick to it and, yeah you know that, that's it, what it is you know, just sticking to it though i think yeah you gotta you gotta have a lot of hard work and yeah. dedication a lot of these guys you don't know, realize uh you know for example you had a couple guests on here i yeah. know one of them he's huge what's his yeah. name um comedian what, the, yeah that, Nima? that's it Nima. Yeah. People think what he does is is easy. No, no. this guy dedicates his life no. to making films. Editing is yeah. where it goes. Which you guys know what's what the issue is with editing. Which That's what we, we were talking about like for an hour before. Bro, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, editing is where it's at. It you is. Know, with T Dot Talks, we had to go through hours of footage yeah, exactly. to get three four minutes of solid yeah. YouTube full length like, video yeah. that we can later break down into shorts. Exactly. And it's the editing. You know, yeah. anyone can shoot. Yeah. It's edit it, make a good video, exactly. get it out there, and exactly. see if people will relate to it. Yeah, um, you know, good things only come to those who work hard. Exactly. You know, and if it's not if it's not worth it, mm -hmm. okay, it's it's not gonna come easy. No. You know. No. You gotta you gotta make sure that everything yeah. is nice. Yeah. When you go into, you gotta go full force. A lot of these young kids, they think they're not like you. They're like, oh, let's do a nice pot podcast and interview a bunch of professionals and many different things and this yeah. and that like for me i've done so many different careers yeah i helped design an app um oh, wow. i was one of the founding members uh, members uh, to design an app that helps teenagers across north america gain employment wow okay wow and now that team is doing a whole other bunch of other stuff in the youth space to help them build better futures for sure but there's people out there that they're not really thinking of stuff that's no. going to better the world no you know for t dot talks we're looking to better the world but through comedy yeah. through the yeah those push the entertainment kind of, side and, yeah, of yeah you have to make people wrong with get on edge a little. everyone's so uptight yeah you can't really say much yeah exactly and then there's yeah. they, you say one thing and they yeah. all freak out and there's riots it's like come on chill out <laughs> comedy is meant for the intelligent people for, for sure. people that don't understand comedy or your jokes maybe some people they, they're just not smart enough for it yeah you know what i'm saying like yeah. that's why these there's certain hecklers they go out to clubs and they well with this and that well if you yeah. don't understand the joke like comedy is actually for intelligent people for sure you know for so. sure wow it's true i don't think a lot of people put it that way either though like they don't see that side they don't they, they just don't. you have to be politically correct and yeah. watch out for people's feelings yeah. especially I'm nowadays i'm tired of what people think i'm yeah. trying to worry about what i think yeah you know if i say something that offends people good yeah. if if it physically hurts you i'm sorry but yeah you know that's that's the space is that's in just at the, the end space of the you know yeah. and I you gotta sort of, respect that too yeah like I, I don't sit there and make fun of people's cultures and no. their religions i no. love i love many people i yeah. love all, all kinds of cultures you know yeah. like you'd be surprised to know that my favorite food is indian food wow yeah and no not way. just butter chicken like every <laughs> north american says okay okay i'm talking palo paneer alu gobi any type of oh, biryani he knows any his type stuff of naan, you dunk he it knows in that his stuff, stuff okay just freaking bait chicken in masala. that stuff the chicken tikka masala yeah and ultra spicy <laughs> that domani matina si, si pagano, don't worry <laughs> it burns as it's coming out don't Dang, worry that's good you know but um that's yeah cool. like thai food but there's like so many people are shut in yeah, that they yeah. all this they don't experience this that. And that come on we're gonna put the barriers down have a little bit of fun that's why yeah. i like comedy for sure because before it i was more serious and yeah. uh, now it's like people say something <laughs> i see the fun i see the fun in it yeah it's like ah not everything has to get under yeah. your skin yeah exactly you know? and the way you're saying it too it, it helps me like understand too in the comedy space like bro nowadays the way things are going, how stuck up it is and politically correct, like you're saying, I think in in an advantage way, the comedy industry is going to be 
more, it's gonna open people more to like okay let's let's like let's chill a bit let's actually just like respect it and enjoy the laugh and not always be like oh yo what the hell did you say yeah you know what i mean yeah there's there's ways to say things without saying it yeah okay like for sure going back on like um okay if i want to rip on another culture for example yeah i'm not gonna sit there and call them out and rip on no them. no and say i, I I rip on them in a way that it actually puts them on a pedestal. Yeah. And then they see it's like, oh my God, yeah, like yeah. that's actually funny. Yeah. Um, I grew up with many different types of, types of people. You know, I have For Russian sure. friends, I have Ukrainian friends, I have yeah. Somali friends, I got Spanish friends, I got everybody. Yeah. You know, in, in terms of the world, you want to get ahead, keep a lot of people around you, show appreciation for them. Yeah. Um, but there's certain things you just don't say. Yeah. You know, like uh, you don't go around and saying things that it's really gonna be you know yeah, offensive yeah, yeah and then you end up getting punched in the mouth for it yeah you know because the world where i came from <laughs> you screw around you get, you, you know, you're gonna get about you get you get <laughs> balat, you know, let's yeah. say all right yeah and that's that's also part of the problem too though now now we're touching on another subject yeah in today's world too many people are <sighs> you know they think oh i can say what i want yeah and you can't do nothing no 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 there's been times when and there's been a little bit before but i shine clocks on the street because yeah. people step out of line yeah. because one no one stands up for themselves anymore for sure and two people think that they can get away with stuff yeah you know back when i was young when i was your age i have friends 10 years older than me this and that. if i ever yeah. talked in ways that some of the kids talk to us <laughs> older guys these days i wouldn't be here yeah i'd be in some concrete in woodbridge or yeah. somewhere around the corner from this podcast <laughs> you know um yeah. there's no levels of respect anymore yeah you know after a certain yeah. time when we do t dot talks we can't interview people because they're too polluted <laughs> they can't be coherent <laughs> everything is a fight yeah so i like to give some good advice some advice that my father tells me when i was younger but yeah. now, now i understand because i'm older yeah oh you want to go have fun stop that guys <laughs> stay home stay, stay home. home it's better yeah. yeah you can't even go nowhere no more no. you know so yeah it's true it's pretty much it bro the world's changing man. you know it you know it awesome. so i've been uh I've been hearing a lot of good things. Yeah. A lot of good things about you young guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate Proud it. Proud of you guys. Thank Proud you. Of you guys. I We're feel trying. like I want to interview you yeah. guys right now on my episode. <laughs> so guys say I, that, bro. It's like it I turns on it us okay, one day. Okay, we're going to start interviewing these guys. It turns on us one day. Yeah. So, so how old are you now? 19. 19. Yeah. And you got into this pod, podcast business how long? What? Seven months? Seven months. Seven months. So? Eight, eight months. months. Eight months. That's it. <laughs> November. You guys are doing amazing. Thank you're you. Doing, you got a nice little wall here. All Everybody that's on this wall realize we're all family now, eh? Whether yeah. you like it or not, we're family. I'll be calling you yeah. for that 10%. <laughs> well, no, you know what? Kidding. We weren't going to mention it yet, but like our, our, that's like we have the, like, I don't know if it's the, the vision board there. Yeah. But the, the goal is, is to, that was the, the main goal of this podcast. It's like, yo, let's try to connect everybody that we had, not only for the people that are watching, but for the guests that we have on. Yeah. So we're going to try to make like this sort of group we won't yeah. say too much we're gonna try to make some sort of group that puts it together an yeah like an, an engagement sort of idea where like we a can networking event. exactly i think it'd be great exactly yeah definitely i'd be in 100 100 percent. i'd awesome. love to yeah you know pick other people's brains yeah. and see what they do yeah. and all that stuff and give some advice yeah i think it's a fantastic thing for you guys uh to help the young guys you for know sure. you know get out there uh, yeah at your age trust me i wasn't thinking about that okay i started a business but believe me yeah I was all chasing tail more than anything, <laughs> you know. So, but yeah, you're used good. to think of a business. Not a lot of people have that mentality either. No, know? man. No, you guys are doing a good thing. Yeah. You're doing a very good thing. Thank so you. So keep up the good work. Thank you. Yeah. You know. So, so tell me, we'll, we'll flip it back on you now because okay. we have to. We yeah, have to. We have to. I feel Sorry, bad. People. We can't. We can't get I gave you a little bit of the taste. Yeah. You heard. There's gonna be an event coming up. So there get is, ready there to buy is. some tickets. Slow and slow. But it's coming along. Piano, piano. Piano, piano. A long time. A prima la volta. And dopo la magiano. And that's it. Said it well. Uh, but like I, I no. Before I forget, honestly, when it comes to the personal side of you, yeah. And you're in the, the comedian space right now. What? What? Like, because obviously we're talking about the lifestyle balance what made you you know every day being a comedian also doing stuff on the side how are you gonna like balance it all together moving forward has your you know your everyday change because of being 
doing all this comedian stuff, stand up, doing skits and so forth. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. My everyday, um, instead of being sort of mediocre and now it's like, okay, I'm planning stuff. Okay. What are we going to do on the day before the weekend? We like to shoot on the weekend for okay. our other projects, such as T-Lot Talks. Usually when events happen for comedy, it's on the weekend if you get booked for an event unless yeah. you're doing something else during the weekend like a yeah, smaller club yeah. or whatnot right so i'm yeah. always open to different opportunities but uh yeah the busy schedule just shoots through the roof and it's something that it's worth it yeah uh, regardless uh, it's not about i'm not saying worth it monetary it's no, worth no, it about yeah. in the career step yeah you know long term of, yeah sh schmoozing with the right people let's Correct. say Correct. um yeah. i think it's a necessity hmm. um also, I, I kind of enjoy it. Yeah. I'm a people person. I can't stay alone too long. For sure. When I do, I go crazy a yeah, little bit yeah. and it can be bad. You lose your mind. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> just sit there, you know. What the hell do I do? Yeah, yeah. you know, I'm like a, just a, a caged up animal, you know. Uh, I got to be out there on the prowl. Yeah. You know, talking wow. to people, figuring out w ways, uh, you know, to make the world a better place or... <laughs> sometimes find a way to line my pockets right like sometimes yeah. it's good yeah you know uh, being in the business that i do having construction and this and that you know sometimes i get quick little jobs where yeah, sure. it makes good money it helps which not too many people have trades yeah in their back pocket these days that for skill. me yeah like for me yeah. i can do anything yeah inside and out upside down hanging from barbed wire when it comes to construction i can do it all and myself uh, i don't uh, just call someone yeah right so a lot There's of people no say, well, I know the business. Like, no, I can literally do everything you see alone with my own two hands uh -huh. and very well. Uh -huh. um, but having the schedule, mm -hmm. yeah, the comedy, it's, you know, you're doing late nights and you're you're trying to figure out how you're going to make a joke. Like, sometimes I wake up at three in the morning and I just turn on my voice note and I just say, okay, <laughs> this is a joke. Like an yeah. idea of a joke yeah. or a story that I remember yeah. it. And I put it down in my voice notes and then I... Yeah. I actually act it out. So like none of my jokes I write down. Wow. I don't do none of that stuff. I yeah. just I think of the idea and then I tell a story nice. with it. Nice. Sometimes it gets a little bit physical and I throw myself <laughs> on stage and whatnot, but it's okay. I was looking into some life insurance just in case I fall <laughs> off the stage one day. Just to, to be back up. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's true. It's cool that you do that. You don't you're not like, you know, you're not writing it down, planning a something that prehistorically never happened. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, a hundred percent. There's guys that they have the technique; they have to write yeah. their their jokes and whatnot yeah. down, and that's cool. Yeah, for sure. But there's also people that they're just they're making like if they're if it's not a real story yeah. that they know from someone, they're just completely like fabricating it, which is for okay. Sure. But I don't think it pulls the essence of the the for truthfulness of the story because sure. to know, hey, this actually happened is yeah. It's to real. me, I think it's fun. Yeah, you it's know? more relatable. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, that's just the way I see it. That's sick. That's awesome. So what what advice would you give to somebody like who's going to try to start off young or maybe later in their life too who wants to get into this space? It, it's not just comedy that I would give this advice for. Anything you want to do, jump in it as early as possible because you might not like it. Hmm. Okay? Yeah. I, have a, I have a saying, throw spaghetti at the wall, see what sticks. Yeah. Okay? When you're young, you have more chances of letting that spaghetti fall off. Yeah. And you just can whip up another bowl and throw it again and see if it sticks. Yeah. Okay. When you get a little bit older, you know, I'm 36 years old. Now it's like, okay, I'm throwing it. These are calculated hits. Yeah. You know, I know where I'm going to go. I know what I'm going to do. Yeah. I know how I'm going to do it. I know who I'm going to involve with it. Hmm. Um, the, you know, the easier way of doing it, my advice would be to start as young as possible, whether it be start a business you know, a specialty trade, you know, mm -hmm. or a podcast, or you want to be big on YouTube, or you, anything you need to do that's yeah. good in life, yeah. whether it be a doctor, you got to study for 10 years. So if you do this for 10 years, by the yeah. time you're 29, you guys will be killing it. Yeah. Right? So yeah. the way I see it, a hundred, okay, 104 weeks to paradise. Yeah. So anything you put 104 weeks, day in and day out, the dedication to, after two years, you're going to get results. Yeah. You will get results. Yeah. It might not be the ones that you, you want. want. Like, not everyone is going to get a million. Yeah. Like, for me, I would love to have a million followers <laughs> or whatnot, or yeah. a million views every video I yeah. do. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Exactly. You know? Exactly. But if you don't do it yeah. with consistency, okay, and you with tenacity, know. and with yeah. passion, no, not everything has to be by the book. No. Not everyone has the same path. You know? 
like uh, my path is different than other comics path yeah you know there's the social media route that they're first a lot of comics they're known through their social media because they do skits yeah you know the question yeah well, i don't do it like that i yeah. do it old school style you want nice. to see me <laughs> come. come watch i'm yeah. gonna show you yeah <laughs> make the sure traditional way well there's nothing wrong with that no there's not nothing wrong, wrong with it because I, I have a firm belief that you need that social media backing yeah to help propel your career for sure right? i i, I truly do for sure I, like they go hand in hand yeah. so for me i'm trying to build that side of things because like yeah. the other thing the other way i have it good i can I know a lot of people. I can get into certain spots, you know. That's awesome. Um, you know, I'm I'm doing the right thing. I just started the last few months. Wow. I'm not looking to go tomorrow and be on just no. for laughs. Yeah. No. You know, I'm not looking to go do my own show and tour <laughs> this and that. No. Yeah. Steps. Steps Calculated. by steps. But you have yeah. to make sure that you get everything in place. Would for I sure. give advice to people that are getting into this business to do the social media? A hundred ten percent. You have to. Hmm. You know. Uh, before this account i had another account on instagram and it was doing pretty well yeah and then there were some issues and hacking yeah. and instagram all this kind yeah, of garbage that's happened. the risk with it all and too. i lost it's, like eight thousand yeah. nine thousand people wow you know on instagram and then like i that. was yeah. yeah like it yeah. was like what the hell you know and they were that's all hard. real people legit it's hard you know and uh facebook you know, I was pretty big on there too, and uh, and then that changed because I had to yeah. change the accounts because that goes. Uh, there's always there's always a problem with the Facebook companies. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't want to hate on them. You know, <laughs> Zucks, we get it. Yeah. You know, we understand. You you think you're the boss, but don't worry. Elon Musk gonna fix you up if you yeah, take he's that fight. Changing the logo. Yeah, yeah. I know. He's I know. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's like crazy. changing the McDonald's. Yeah, it arches. doesn't make sense. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Just leave things as they are. Exactly. You know? Change the inside. That's it. Renovate. Yeah. You have to knock down the whole structure. Yeah, exactly. You know? That's the way I see it. Hey, even like the, you, you just got me thinking of something like it, like the way you lost it. Like for somebody who's trying to grow it, like like all of us, for example, we're trying to grow it for a benefit of t to, to meet people, to grow our page, to grow an audience the yeah. right way. Yeah. And for it to be lost like that, like I honestly think there should be some sort of like insurance put in place. You know what? You know what? You know who invented uh, who invented the insurance? You don't know? No. Okay. So back in the nineteen twenties. Okay. Okay. In New York, some big guys came into a business and they ah, said, "Hey, next yeah. week a storm is coming." Yeah. A storm, and the guys like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> No storm is here. No storm. Yeah. What do you mean? Because listen, there's a storm coming. You gotta pay, and the storm's gonna pass your store. Don't worry. Yeah. I'm not paying nothing. This and that. Guess what? The week later, it the came. storm came. Yeah. And three big Italian guys <laughs> with baseball bats and they don't pay to the store. Yeah. Uh, they destroyed everything. Yeah. I said, "Oh, now you don't pay. Yeah, I'll pay." <laughs> yeah. And that was the birth of the insurance business. Yeah, it's true. Okay, because we all pay yeah. for what ifs. For yeah, if the what if doesn't happen at the end of the year, they should give your money back. Yeah. Right. They no, should, no, no, no. They keep it. Did you, did you ever interview uh, an insurance guy? Recently, yeah. yeah. Actually, the last one. Yeah. Tell him. Tell him. <laughs> I want my check. I'm coming for it. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I don't pay insurance. I'm just trying. Who pays insurance these yeah. days? Who knows? I never, I never gamble with my money all my life. Yeah. That's you awesome. Know? That's sick. It's <laughs> well said. Yeah, you Make know. You better put that out, the story of the insurance. Yeah, it's true, bro. It's true. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't know. And then 1929, the stock market crash. Yeah. People talk about Look at that. Bitcoin, yeah, right. A bit. It's gonna leave people in bits <laughs> when it's done. <laughs> it's you crazy. believe in that crypto stuff? No, 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 no. Even in business school, like, yeah, we look at it, like, okay, is it Make gonna make believe? It's yeah, it's a lot of what ifs, like you said. You, you know? listen, it is. Everything has a value if you can get yeah. someone to buy it. Yeah, at that value. Yeah. If not, guess what? It's just a piece of junk. Yeah. You know. Exactly. You know. They say. You ever watch the show Pawn Stars? No. No? Okay, so you watch Pawn Stars. You see, God bless the grandfather, he passed away. People would come in, they say, hey, you know, this thing, it's priceless. 50 bucks. <laughs> he tell them, what do you mean? It's from 1800 It's my family. Oh, I yeah. went uh, $5,000. Yeah. Now that you spoke again, $45. And each time you say something, I'm taking out five bucks. So 50 bucks. They shut bucks. up real quick. They're like, okay, I'll take the 50. It's like, you know, it's like. <laughs> didn't mean anything now. It didn't mean anything. Yeah. It didn't mean anything. It's so, true. It's true. 
I don't know, man. That's sick. These days, people don't know. They don't know what's good anymore. That's true. You know. So, what are you thinking moving forward now? Other than the what you got going on on social media, what what's the next step, Marco? The next step, I don't know. Don't know, man. Take it as it is. Take it as it is, man. Nice. I, uh, I think I told you when we were talking through uh, yeah through the Instagram messaging there. Um, I've been through a lot. Okay? Yeah, a lot of hardship growing up as a teenager. I'm not one of those regular type of guys. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't work like that in my books. It's okay. You know, I was around a lot of really rough people. He, um, and, you know, I always have my head in its right place. But for sure. But I sure. made a lot of mistakes. Um, I survived an earthquake in Ecuador Jeez. back uh, April 16, 2000, uh, 2016. And uh, it changed my life. I was 30 years old. And I saw a lot of things that made me really want to do better in the world. There's a reason why I'm here. Hmm. You know, a lot of people, they don't realize how precious life is and how unique each person can be if you give them a chance. Yeah. You know, even the lowest of the low, there's a good story about them. Yeah. You know, even the highest of the high, you know, there's a, a bad story about them. Yeah, exactly. You know, um, I think once there's that realization that, hey, everyone wants to be their own star in their own movie, yeah. and you realize that, and you yeah. help somebody kind of get in their own way like their own path self happiness for sure you know people they they, they commend you for that they won't forget you no, for that you no know? 100 um for me the life-changing point was knowing that i had if i made one choice <laughs> different <laughs> on that vacation i wouldn't be here with you right now wow. and i nearly almost died myself but luckily things didn't work out like that yeah like i had my main artery cut from an injury from buildings collapsing and me being caught in like barbed wire yeah you know of trying wow. to get out from buildings falling over and stuff yeah. um it was the same it was the same um seismic activity on the uh, on the richter scale as the one in syria and in turkey wow. so it was 7.8 the same one that i survived 7.8 <laughs> So I saw what it can do. In eight seconds, entire buildings, 10 stories came down. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And uh, it really, it made me appreciate the small moments in life. Wow. You know? Uh, not wow. everything is about how much money or how many no. people you know. Because at the end of the day, I'll tell you guys a secret. Nobody gives a shit. Yeah. Nobody. Not anybody watching. If I die tomorrow, no one's going to give a shit. If you die tomorrow, yeah. your true family and your For friends sure. are going to care. For sure. Everyone else, That's guess it. what? They're still gonna go pop bottles, which yeah. I think is a waste of time because yeah. you can buy for twenty four ninety five at the LCBO and stay home and watch Netflix. Yeah. Instead, they spend three fifty at a freaking bar a where booth. they see these bottle service girls yeah. that they're not even happy. They come out and <laughs> with the like, sign. <sighs> another jerk trying to hit on me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's true. You know that's it's part true. of one of my bits too. So That's sick. it's. It's sad. Yeah. For me, I'm not a Vegas guy. I'm a leave me the fuck alone type of guy. Agreed. On the beach in fucking South America with my girl or in Portugal or yeah. in Belize or yeah. Panama. Yeah. You know, I don't go buy a $10 million house. I buy a little fucking a nice baraka small, yeah. for 100 grand yeah. and I'll sit with the 9. fucking nine million in my pocket on the beach. You know, yeah. that's the type of guy I am. Uh, I think we need to appreciate different types of arts. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the next step for me, like I said, is always going to be try and get on to the, to the acting, to the big screen, television, sure. movies, sure. you know, producing my own stuff. I don't just, I would like to be obviously an actor and all that yeah. stuff, but I think in these days you have to uh, build your own type of following and then for once sure. you get big enough you can release your own movies similar nice. to like adam sandler he yeah. did that i yeah. really respect adam sandler That's, i love yeah. the way he did it every movie he does he brings in the same people for sure. to work with him uh jim carrey's another jim big, carrey. big one for me uh i like chris farley nice uh, eddie murphy stuff yeah. like that like these guys are they all became big because they did comedy first wow they got an snl or mad tv or yeah. so on and so forth and um Wow. My thing would be always, you know, once you get to one step, you get to the next step. Exactly. You yeah. know? Um, one at a time. Yeah. 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 Like, I'm old, but I'm still young. No. Hey, like, I'm yeah. 36, but really in my mind, I'm like 22. Well, I thought you were like 20-something. Yeah, yeah, dude. Honestly. Go tell that to my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want it, you keep them. That's what she was saying, you know? <laughs> so, uh, that's pretty much it. That's the best. That's, that's it, awesome. bro. You said it really real. 
you spoke really well too so i appreciate that no problem bro a lot of no advice problem. people need to hear that nobody hears on the regular no so. they don't bro like i i'll tell you man like i pulled i pulled at least 40 people from rubble oh. including children <laughs> just so they had a place to be buried in the earthquake yeah Fuck. it's i seen people beyond this repair um it really makes you appreciate yeah you know the small moments you know when yeah. you guys say hey, mark you're gonna come on a podcast yeah bro i almost died in an earthquake fuck y'all you on a podcast <laughs> i just like, start doing comedy yeah 100 you know? i'm gonna get interviewed for my life jesus christ wow. i should be paying you guys to sit me down here <laughs> you know uh, <laughs> just kidding uh, uh, he's having some good fun it was it was awesome Thank you, Marco. No problem. Appreciate God bless it. you, bro. We're going to do it again. We always say we like to do it. We're going to do a year we're, run. We're gonna, uh, every year, yeah. God. Hopefully, I'm see not the, in jail or, or I'm not extradited to some other we're country where, they, where I'm call. convicted. Yeah, yeah Zoom call. Yeah. And then my next show is going to be inside the bin. <laughs> you know? Uh, all male audience? No, I'm just kidding. No. Say that life's about balance, baby, and the balance is in my account now. Okay, she got a perkin and perk. I got a twerking and turks. She probably let both of us hit. The way that she smirking in dirt She getting cake off the pictures she take I say, girl, if it worked, then it work Fuck a wedding dress, I'm trying to market it Hey, you ain't flying, bitch, bro Hey, you ain't driving around the world